Here's what you need to know to get started with the Nikon D5600. The D5600 is usually packaged with an 18-55mm f3.5-5.6 kit lens. For greater versatility, the 18-140mm f3.5-5.6 offers a wider zoom range. If you're just going to buy one additional lens for your D5600, we'd recommend the 35mm f1.8. It's small, sharp and great for shooting in low light. To get started, we recommend a UHS-1 type Class 3 memory card with at least 64GB of storage. We also recommend adding an extra battery to your kit. If you're a beginner, the green auto mode will take care of the shooting settings, letting you focus on composition. But to get the most out of the D5600's 24MP sensor, we recommend shooting in RAW mode and adjusting the images using Nikon's bundled Capture NXD software. For more advanced photographers, the PASM exposure modes will let you take full control over the D5600, including its versatile 39-point autofocus system. Switch to Autofocus C if you want to shoot moving subjects. If you'd rather position your focus point manually, you can do this by moving your finger around the touchscreen, either in live view or with your eye to the viewfinder. The effects mode allows you to apply 10 different filters to stills and video. The D5600 shoots HD video at up to 60p. Use the flip out screen to compose video footage and set the focus. Use SnapBridge to wirelessly connect the camera to your mobile device for photo sharing. For more in-depth information about the Nikon D5600, including a deep dive into all of its key features, head to dpreview.com.